Yeah, that's a great question. I think the why is tough to get to, but is unfortunately not too surprising that people have been discounted for illnesses that weren't clearly measurable or didn't clearly show up on some test. And even among people who have illnesses who show up on some tests, they're discounted for a variety of reasons. Um, so I think medicine had people skeptical as well as outside of medicine. And we see that we still continue to see this, people skeptical of, well, is this real? How much of the symptoms are people uh, exaggerating? Are this people who come to our clinic even tell us among friends and family, sometimes they have a tough time with people saying, you know, these other people were sick at the same time and feel fine. Why do you still feel this way? People have that problem with employers sometimes as well as they are feeling these changes in cognition, this exhaustion, pains throughout their body. And because it doesn't manifest in a very easily measurable or tangible thing like a CAT scan result or uh, a test for cancer or something like that. Um, it's, I think it's easier for people to be doubtful of it, especially if they're not deep within this work and clearly seeing this is obviously an injury after the virus. This has been described for centuries. Um, we know a fair amount about what, how other viruses have affected people in terms of syndromes. And we're learning a fair amount about the actual changes with long COVID. And I'm hopeful that the recent research, especially this year as research is really ramping up, our understanding of the biology of long COVID is ramping up. There will be clear high impact studies that uh, kind of wipe away any doubt that people had. But as you've seen, and we've seen throughout the pandemic, even very obvious tangible things can be discounted or ignored by people. And that's, I think, part of human psychology and not necessarily unique to any any virus or any illness.